What's up, YouTube? Has Ultra finally released an actual hybrid running shoe? Let's find out. I bought these shoes last week, and I've only done about 25 kilometers in them. So this is really just a first impressions video. I will make a full review in a couple of weeks after I've done more runs in them. For 140 euros, I think it's a decent price if you compare it to the rest of the running shoe market. Shoes are getting ridiculously expensive, so I'm quite happy to still see shoes at 140. I think they're also like $140 in the US which makes Altura more expensive for us Europeans. I live in a flat city in Germany, but I do have some local easy and maintained trails just outside my door. Unless I drive out of town, my runs usually include a good mix of asphalt, mud, dirt, and loose gravel. Road running shoes tend to miss the grip on certain surfaces, while trail shoes are actually too much for the easy trails here in the city. I was really hyped up when they were released back in December. I even remember seeing a photo of them leaked a few months earlier, and they were called the Ultra Green Mountain, but that seems to be their prototype name. So the Ultra Outroad is supposed to be an actual hybrid running shoe. So it's designed to include the best of both the road and trail running worlds. I don't know about you, but rarely do I run on a single type of surface. It always includes a variety of like asphalt, mud, dirt, loose gravel, you name it. I also like running through the woods, so you end up running over leaves, over branches, the occasional tree trunk that you need to step over. And I really think the Ultra might actually be the answer for that. Straight from the box, I noticed that it is a pretty short shoe and the heel cup is very plush. Uh, before I ordered, I knew that they are classified as Ultra's slim fit, fit shape. So within the Ultra's world of original, standard and slim fit, they are the most narrow fit shape that Ultra has in their lineup. Now the toe box is still wider than most mainstream brands out there, but definitely more snug than other Altos. Just like the Rivera and the Vanish family. If you've been following me for longer, you know that I'm between a size 10 and 10 and a half US. This time I decided to go for a 10 and risk it, and I instantly regret that. I should have gone for a 10 and a half like my Riveras, but most of my Altos are size 10 US. Only for the Riveras have I sized up, and the Torrent 5 were also notoriously short. Other than that, size 10 is actually pretty good, even for the Vanish uh, Carbon, the 10 is good. For the Vanish Temple, I bought 10.5, which I think are too long on the other hand. So for the Outroad, I went for a size 10. They feel a little bit short and a little bit snug, and I bet my toes will get a little bit beaten up, but you win some, you lose some. So for those that already have a good size in the Riveras, I would really recommend getting the same size with the Outroad. The Outroads were originally released a few months ago, but I read that Alto needed to pull back a lot of their shoes because they had an issue with the lacing system. They never publicly announced what was the issue, but there was something to do with the lacing system. I'm guessing it's with the yellow eyelets around here. And to be honest, I never really understand why shoe companies need to have special eyelets like this. I'm not a fan of them, I just prefer holes. And these eyelets are basically sewn to the top. I'll make some b-roll so you can see it better. So these yellow eyelets are sewn to the upper, but also come all the way through on the inner wall of the shoes. I'm guessing that if they were to ever snap off, you will always have the uh, additional lace that will keep it in place so it won't break as quickly. Why just not punch a couple of eyelets in there and you're good to go? But then again, I think shoe designers just want to try things out of the ordinary. The tongue is quite thin and reminds you of the Alta Vanish Tempo. It doesn't cut, it definitely doesn't cut into your ankle. It is quite long and does fold up. At first, it does get kind of uncomfortable when uh, tying the laces, but it's almost neglectable after a couple of steps. The upper is similar to the Rivera, so quite breathable. The overlays are an addition coming from the trail running world, simply to reinforce the upper and protect your toes from kicking anything hard. They are glued on, so it looks kind of cheap. Otto does have a bad history of glue coming undone. Also, the drainage holds up at, around the front and the sides look a little bit comical, as if the designers weren't sure if they wanted them or not. So they cut holes in the overlays, but not in the upper. I guess they think the upper provides enough drainage anyway, which I don't doubt. It just looks a bit silly and cheap. And after running in a raid, I can confirm that the drainage is pretty good. Running through puddles, it took a while before the water actually came in because of the overlays. But once you really get deep and the water flows in, after a few strides, the water also just drains out again. While running, they remind me of both the Torrent and the Rivera. The stack height comes in between the Torrent and the Rivera, so one millimeter more than the Rivera 2 and one millimeter less than the Torrent 5. The Ego midsole provides quite a good cushioned ride. It's very comfortable, but I don't feel that this shoe is one to be running fast in. For me, it's more of a shoe to run endless miles. Something that just stays comfortable even if you run two or three hours. And now comes the actual unique part of the shoe, the outsole. It's the same max track that we know of Ultra, but the main difference to Ultra's other trail shoes is that the lugs cover more surface. 
of auto sole shoes usually have an outsole that covers the whole surface of the shoe and then a couple of lugs that dig into the ground to prevent you from slipping. But those lugs offer no benefit on asphalt. The Outroad, on the other hand, has a more asphalt friendly outsole as the lugs are more spread out and cover more surface just like road running shoes actually and road running shoes usually only have like one or two millimeters of outsole these lugs are clearly more aggressive providing better grip now the question is is the outsole any good so far i've run on asphalt dirt mud loose gravel and they did a good job even running through puddles they were pretty decent i did slip once or twice running through the mud and quick corners but I'm honestly not sure if any shoe can really handle that kind of mud. I don't trust the Max Track for the life of me, so I'm extra careful on slick surfaces. On anything dry, they feel great, and I don't feel I'm losing any ground while running on loose gravel. I really like the fact that the Outroad is a unique shoe in the Outro lineup. So many of my runs are a mix of road and trail, so I really see many opportunities to run in them. I'd even consider using them as a daily trainer. However, I just don't like the fact that they are slim fit. I don't have wide feet or anything, but a little bit more wiggle room for my feet to splay out would be nice. And my feet tend to swell up when I run, so in that case, the slim fit isn't the best choice. They're obviously not as slim as mainstream brands out there, and I don't think they're too narrow, but the word snug does come to mind. Primarily over the top of my foot is where it gets quite tight, which can adjust the lacing to create a little bit more room. So these are my first impressions of the Ultra Outroad. Let me know if you have any questions, anything that you want me to answer in a full review, let me know in the comments down below. Thank you for watching and see you guys next time. Bye.